What's up, y'all? Um, I'm over here celebrating another moment for the culture. Um, I'm very proud of my city. We all stood in solidarity and supported our brother, Big Sean, today. I'm super proud of that. Um, guys that didn't otherwise get along with each other, put their differences aside, and um, stood for one cause. And I think this is a time for us to just kind of look at the way that things are. Um, you know, the whole world is paying attention right now. And especially us as Detroit, we actually have um, a different time in history to, to measure this moment against. There was a time when uh, me, myself, uh, was, was, was on TV on the Beef DVD going at it with D12 and, and um, showing the world that we can be competitive toward each other. And um, just looking at it in retrospect, just really looking at everything, and um, all of these years later, growing up, I can honestly say we we gained nothing out of that. And um, I'm not a, a very regretful guy, but um, I can't help but to imagine what things would have been like had we realized the importance of unity and how strength is in numbers and who our true enemy is. And it's not each other. Your enemy is not your brother. Um, I'm extremely proud of Tyler Perry. Um, he's well documented in saying that Hollywood never returned his cause. So he was forced to build outside of the paradigm that is Hollywood. And he built his own studio lot. Started out doing plays. And, um, not only is he a billionaire now, a self-made billionaire now, he's a billionaire, no thanks to Hollywood, and he wouldn't be a billionaire had he partnered up with Hollywood in any shape, form, or fashion. And the most important thing is he's a billionaire from making movies strictly for black people. Every single movie was marketed toward the black community, so that totally dispels any rumor or myth of it not being any money in our community. There's plenty of money in our community. Um, if you look at somebody like Floyd Mayweather, um, HBO Boxing, they had a picture in their mind of how f they felt like Floyd Mayweather should behave, how he should talk, and um, how he should kind of boss down to them, I guess for lack of a better term. Um, you know, too arrogant, too cocky. You know, um, we can take take we can take it or leave it type shit. So okay, fuck y'all. And he went over to Showtime. Now, I grew up on HBO boxing. You know, I come from a boxing family, so we all would sit in front of the TV watching boxing. And um, we were used to watching it on HBO. So just that move in itself, and him believing in himself enough to just say fuck HBO and then go to Showtime and totally take everything that he has over there. And that wasn't the first time that he bet on himself. He went from one promoter to the next and bet on himself before that. So he went to, to Showtime and Showtime wasn't, um, it wasn't a platform that was generally known for showing boxing. So this was like a big gamble. And he went over there, he gambled on himself. Um, Showtime believed in him. They gave him the money that he, he was asking for. I think he did like a six-fight deal or something like that. And he did the six fights, and he ran the scoreboard up every time. And he basically bankrupted the shit out of HBO boxing. HBO dropped boxing from their network because Floyd Mayweather left. That tells you the power of number one, believing in yourself and just understanding what generates the revenue. So that's why it's very important that we root for somebody like Joe. It's very important that we don't, we don't become vocal, um, speaking out against what he's doing because it's not just him. It's all of us. The fight that he's fighting is for all of us. It's for all of us. Even the ones that choose to operate within the corporate infrastructure, we're still one. We're still in solidarity. Never, ever would you ever got to worry about me 
airing out any grievances or expressing public discernment or disdain against one of my brothers. We work that shit out internally. And anybody who doesn't want to see us prevail in a fair, equal way is the fucking enemy. And you can't be a friend of us just talking. There has to be action with those words. There has to be some sort of attempts made to hire more black executives, to hire, put more people, make more people as a part of your board. I'm willing to even go as far as saying if, you know, if you're a white ally of mine, you have to be willing to, if you have an opportunity and you're not as qualified as a black person, fall back and let the black person get that position. I think we have to be willing to, to go to that extent in order to really see the change that we want to see. And if you don't want to, that's fine. No problem at all. But best believe everybody's under an indictment. And that's how it has to go. And I need all my brothers and sisters to please just know your worth. Know your worth. You got Tyler Perry, you got Revolt, you got Rock Nation, you got plenty of avenues where it's black and um, we got to start looking at it like that and we got to start taking care of each other. But we can't be afraid to fail. We can't be afraid to, to become poor. We come from being poor. You're afraid to become poor. How could you ever, ever, ever make a billion dollars if you're scared to lose a couple million dollars? One doesn't go, one, one don't go without the other. If you're if you're saying that you want to achieve the ultimate W, then, all, then you're obviously implying that you're willing to take the ultimate L. It's just the yin and the yang. All right? So I want everybody to take care of themselves, take care of yourselves, and start placing value on everything that is you. Because right now they're under, they're under the process of monetizing everything that it, that is us. All the swag that we have that we give away. It's worth money. The way that we converse, the way that we wear our clothes, everything that we love, it's worth money. And we got to start placing value on that ourselves and charging. Y'all motherfuckers got to pay. Peace and love.